What's going on guys? This is Toxic Phase. And today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to download a texture pack and enable it to Minecraft. A lot of people do this little thing where you go over here and click star and do percent app data percent and go into your Minecraft folder and do all that nonsense. There's no sense in doing that. There's a much easier way to do it and today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So first things first, you're going to click well, when you're at the Minecraft main menu, you're going to click texture packs. And once you're here, to bring up all the ones you already have, if you have any, which I have multiple. But you're going to click open texture pack folder. Whenever that opens, alright, whenever that opens, you're just going to min minimize the folder and you're going to minimize Minecraft. And you're going to want to go into your web browser. You're going to open up a new tab. <coughs> And in my opinion, you use Planet Minecraft, but you can go to Minecraft forums. Oh, there's a bunch of different Minecraft uh, websites you can go to to find them. But my favorite is PlanetMinecraft.com. And once you get here, you go straight and click Texture Packs. All right, when that's loaded up, you're gonna you're gonna have a bunch of them being previewed up here. Popular ones are being previewed. But what I like to do is just scroll down and start from the top and look through them and find some that I like. But over here, it has this percent bar. If it's 30% complete or 100% complete, the 100% complete ones will work much better than the, say, 30% complete ones. But anyway, let's keep scrolling. Uh, find me a 100% complete one. Eldercraft, it's got 16,000 downloads. I'll do this one just for the sake of showing you guys how to do it. Alright, so once once you've got whichever one you want selected, when it brings you to, say, the Eldercraft 4, when it brings you to whatever page you want of that texture pack, you're going to scroll down until you see download. Sometimes it'll say download via media share or whatever it's called uh, download via whatever download website it takes you to in some cases it's like this it just says download texture pack and you'll just click it and it'll take you to wherever it downloads and then it'll pop up down here at the bottom you just wait on that to download if they're if they're high quality HD ones they usually take about a minute if they're just regular texture packs they'll take you about 10 seconds Alright, so once that's downloaded, all you're going to do is click it, wait on it to load up. Alright, once it's pulled up, you can click minimize your browser, and you're going to pull back up your texture pack folder. Once you have both of, the, both of these, you're going to come over to your the one you just downloaded, and at the top, you'll have two little dots. You're going to double click the dots to bring you back to this page. And you're going to find whatever you just downloaded. In this case, it'll be the Eldercraft 4. You're going to click it and drag it over into your texture pack folders. And there it is, the Eldercraft 4. So then you can click out of both of these and then pull back up Minecraft. You're going to scroll down until you find the one you just oh, downloaded, and it's right there. You're just going to click it. Want it to load up. Look at that, it looks pretty cool. You click done. Oh, look at this. The Elder Craft 4. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then you click single player, whatever you want to go into. And I'll go to my survival mode. <clears throat> Wait on it to load up. And here's the texture pack, guys. Um, I'm not going to show you much of the actual gameplay right here. I'm just going to show you a little bit of how this actual texture pack looks because I've never seen it before. I want to test it out a little too. Oh, the water looks really nasty. I can tell you that. Ooh. Um. Oh, I'm really lagging because since I'm recording, but right here I have my little pier. <laughs> I know y'all don't really care, but we. I'm just gonna go look at some stuff. Cobblestone looks neat. Ah, I hate when texture packs do this, man. I do not know what's up with this. How it puts a little fire and whatnot into the walls. 
I don't know what is up with it, but I hate it. But I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Look at this nasty water. Yeah, now that I see it, this is not the best texture pack. <laughs> see, this right here is freaking rock, not rock, oh, uh, hell, netherrack or whatever it's called, and then they put it blue on here. So, uh, the inventory, the stuff in the inventory, inventory looks pretty cool, I will say that. Cook pork chop and sugar cane. Yeah, it looks pretty neat, but oh yeah, look at the tools and such. They look pretty cool. It's just I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's how you download and enable a texture pack the easiest way possible. You can see, um, let's see, I'm five minutes into this video and I've had the texture pack for two minutes already. So it takes about two to three minutes to download and enable your texture pack. So guys, I really hope this helped. If it, if it did, please give it a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Peace out.